One element of a great story is how well it can connect with its audience. In fighting games, many players already see their main favorite characters as an extension of themselves. This could be due to the way they look, the way they play, and relating or sympathizing with their backstory. In regards to the latter, you know you've got quite a strong story going should it hit you right in the feels. These are 10 of the saddest character endings in fighting games. We'll be focusing squarely on endings rather than backstories, unless of course tragedy further extends into their ending, because sometimes a character can have a tragic backstory, but end up having a happy ending. Also, we'll just be looking at character specific endings rather than the events that occur in the game's main story. Finally, this list will include endings whether they are canon, semi-canon, or non-canon. With all that being said, let's begin. Number 10, Jan Lee, Dead or Alive 4. Jan Lee reminisces about his childhood. He was extremely poor and endured constant abuse and belittling from locals. One even went as far as to offer him a meat bun, only to drop it, begin striking him, and stomping the meat bun into the ground. Watching Bruce Lee films was practically his only way of coping with such a troubled childhood. We've all witnessed the lives of the homeless in one way or another, from seeing it in person to documentaries looking closer at the struggle surrounding it. This alone makes the ending feel all too real. To add to it, the mockery and cruelty shown towards Lee is enough to dishearten and even possibly anger anyone. With Jan Lee being one of many fighting game characters based on Bruce Lee, it was actually pretty neat how they exhibited a legendary martial artist influence on him. Additionally, it's bound to hit close to home for some players. Having certain types of activities as an escapism from life's troubles is something that is familiar to many of us. Number 9, Nokororu and Galford, Samurai Showdown 2. Upon defeating Mizuki Roshojin, Nokorodu sacrifices herself to become one with the spirit of nature to restore its balance. Her grandparents and sister Rimoruru mourned her death. In passing, Nokorodu's soul begs them not to grieve her death. What makes this ending so sad is not just Nokorodu's death, but the effect it had on those connected to her. In addition to her family, Nokorodu's death is also the main event in Galford's ending as well. Galford had strong romantic feelings for her and was crushed upon seeing her death firsthand. Interestingly, two things connect these endings. One is the fact that both endings involve Nokorodu comforting those who were mourning over her. The other is the display of the positive influence Nokorodu had on the likes of Galford and her sister. Both of them seemingly saw her spirit as a glimmer of hope as they both gave her a reassuring, I understand, when asked not to feel sad. Number 8. Beck Dusan, Tekken Tag Tournament 2 Beck's father was a former Taekwondo champion. When Beck was younger and the two of them were playing around, he hit his father with an errant strike that ends up killing him. The memory sticks with Beck as it is the source of his depression. Originally explored in his Tekken 2 ending, the Tekken Tag 2 tournament version is arguably a lot more gripping. This ending shows a flashback of the accident and the shock of a young Beck realizing what had occurred. The effect it continued to have on Beck is also well illustrated through the anguish he displays. Accidents happen all the time, but very rarely are they this tragic. Regardless, a loss is a loss. Having to live with the fact that you caused someone's death unintentionally, especially for someone you love, has got to be haunting. Number 7. Painwheel, Skullgirls Seemingly regained control of her mind and body, Painwheel attempts to return home to her parents. They are horrified at the sight of their daughter, calling her a monster and rejecting her outright. Mom? Dad? It's me! Get out of here, monster! It turns out she actually didn't retain control of herself, 
seeing the Skull Heart took control of her, making her the new Skull Girl. Painwheel's backstory in and of itself is already saddening, as she was kidnapped and made into an experiment. In some cases, characters with tragic backstories eventually overcome their struggles and end up with happy endings. Painwheel conquers one obstacle, only to have another huge door shut in her face, sending her crashing back into more misery. While having her parents reject her was hurtful, what's additionally depressing is the freedom of her mind and body were an illusion. The transition wasn't much of an improvement either, going from being a monstrous, killer experiment to a servant to the Trinity with the task of destroying the world. Number 6. Ragna, Blaze Blue Continuum Shift Ragna loses control of the Azure Grimoire, causing him to become the new Black Beast. Ragna proceeds to go on an immensely destructive rampage, killing his brother Jin and others before being stopped by Noel and Hakuman. Jubei and Rachel apologize to Ragna as he wakes up paralyzed. Rachel cries over him and tearfully bids him farewell. As if almost destroying the entire world wasn't bad enough, it's gotta be all the more gutting doing so with very little control over it. Even when it seemed like Ragna had realized some of the damage he caused, his mental state only withered away. This is yet another ending where despair extends beyond just the primary character. Along with numerous people Ragna slaughtered, including his own brother, Rachel's sadness is enough to bring a tear of your own. Ragna died alone in agony, not knowing the entirety of the carnage he had unwillingly caused. Number 5. Mina, Samurai Showdown 5 Mina had spent most of her life isolated from her own village due to concerns about the strength of her mystical powers. The village would end up being totally eradicated. The only friend she ever had, Champel, assumes its true, monstrous form. Mina senses that Champel's energy is the same that destroyed her village. She kills Champel and commits suicide soon after, not wanting to be alone. Interestingly, Mina was intended to be a new heroine to the series, and the polar opposite of Nokoruru. Despite the latter, tragedy still taints her story. It's sad how her own people that saw her as a goddess simultaneously saw her as a threat. Just when it seemed like she had a haven in her friend, the truth shattered that haven and Mina was alone once again. What's disheartening isn't solely the fact that she had to kill her friend, but that even with the revelation of his true form, she still loved him. Number 4. Zhang Hua, Soul Calibur 4 Keelik attempts to allow Soul Edge to consume him, only to have Zhang Hua try and stop him. Keelik relents, desiring for Zhang Hua to live a normal life. It is my responsibility from here on. N no! Please, I want you to be able to lead an ordinary life and find your own happiness. But what about you? What about your happiness? I... I don't deserve to be happy. Zhang Hua further tries to convince him not to, only for Keelik to grab Soul Edge. Zhang Hua holds him despite Keelik's constant objections, resulting in Soul Edge consuming them both. The relationship between Zhang Hua and Keelik is immensely rocky enough as it is. Keelik is unable to return his feelings for Zhang Hua due to her resemblance to her sister, Zhang Lian. Keelik looked up to Zhang Lian like a sister, but was forced to kill her after she had been corrupted by the evil seed. The everlasting perseverance in Zhang Hua's heart shines beautifully, through not just her words, but her actions. It clearly got through to Keelik as his tone totally changes with his final words. Thank you, Xiang Hua. Number 3. Wang Jinrei, Tekken 5 After defeating his longtime friend Jinpachi, Wang holds him in his arms as he was dying. Jinpachi apologizes for the trouble he had caused. Wang forgives him. Jinpachi thanks Wang for being a great friend to him and eventually disintegrates. While Jinpachi is probably more widely known for invoking rage from players in Tekken 5, he's actually one of the more sympathetic final bosses in fighting games. Whereas most final bosses are unanimously hated by other characters, Jinpachi had a best friend in Wang Jinrei. 
The most touching of Jinpachi's last words is arguably his wish to share one more drink with his friend. If players weren't shedding tears, then the distress in Wong's voice as he clutches the remains of his deceased friend would have definitely brought them out. Number 2, T-Hawk, Super Street Fighter 4 Rose directs T-Hawk to the whereabouts of his girlfriend, Julie. She's found to be in the care of an elderly couple living in a forest. She's lost her memories, the ability to speak, or show emotion. T-Hawk appears before her outside of a window of her room. This is not enough to break the spell, as she doesn't acknowledge his presence. Heartbreaking with the situation alone, this ending is further empowered by several subtle details. While gloomy sad music isn't rare when it comes to depressing endings, T-Hawk's ending is unique in that the music accompanying it is his own, albeit played in a more cold, haunting, and somber tone. She's looking outside again, as if she's waiting for someone. She must really believe that someone will come for her. Also unique is the fact that T-Hawk doesn't speak at all in this ending, yet anyone can still feel his pain and despair. Finally, while rain is yet another universal symbol of sadness, here it is used quite beautifully in the end. While Julie is unable to cry, it seemed nature decided to do so for her, as one raindrop upon the window she's looking out of resembles a tear from her eye as it falls. Number 1. Jackie Briggs, Mortal Kombat 11 Using the hourglass, Jackie goes back in time, preventing her father Jax from becoming a revenant. However, seeing that Jax and his wife met during the time he was undergoing PTSD treatment after being restored to his human form, Jackie erases herself from existence. Sacrifice has been something of a recurring theme on this list. This one stands out among the others in that the one giving their life is unfortunately forgotten. While heroes who sacrifice themselves for the greater good aren't doing so for notoriety, that's still pretty heartbreaking, especially seeing it's a loved one. Jackie holds an ambitious and courageous tone as she explains her actions. She upholds this tone until the very end, wherein not only is her disappearance bound to make you cry, but also the way she delivers her final words. In my shoes, it's what he would do. It's what a Briggs does. I know you'll never hear this, but... Goodbye, Dad. I love you. That's all for this video. What fighting game character endings made you sad? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Thank you all for watching and I will catch you all next time. Take care.